Well, ladies and gentlemen, Friday, I want to apologize Ooh. for getting this podcast out um, a little late. I was working. Brennan had to go to freezing Edmonton, where he is now. <laughs> I guess it was three degrees. Woohoo! What a blast. <laughs> Oil fields. Love the people of Edmonton. Uh, before we get this started, guys, uh, reminder, Cap Cities, Austin, I'm there. January 31st, 1st, and 2nd. I'm kind of excited because Tim Kennedy's coming. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. My boyfriend. And he promoted <laughs> my show on my Instagram story. I thought it was really cool of him. Hell yeah. Uh, I, like, I get a giddy kind of feeling when I'm that great MMA fighters and great Americans. Great human know. beings. Yeah. Um, American Comedy Club in uh, San Diego, February 7, 8, 9. Mm-hmm. And by the way, this just in, the Vogue Theater, one night only, Vancouver, February 21st. The Vogue Theater, one night only, Vancouver. I'm putting it, putting it up on the TFATK website. Haven't done it yet, but you can get tickets, uh, and I'll, I'll provide a link. Well, we're waiting for Will Sasso right now. <laughs> That's why. Will, as usual, is late. The only person who's more late than I am is Will Sasso. I got a text that said 15 cunt. <laughs> and he also said to have a w- omelet station set up and asked me if our omelet chef uh, can make crepes. So <laughs> that would be me then. Yeah. Right? So he's, yeah. he's going to come in like the blazing a hole that he is. Um, by the way, I want to thank everybody because schooled crushed Hell the yes. ratings, crushed. They had no idea it'd be that big. We retained 100% of our Goldberg's audience. And um, that is so and awesome. all these other things, like all these other reviews. So uh, it's kind of weird. Success is weird. I just want to say this to you guys. Success, when you get everything you want, you better be careful because <laughs> it comes with responsibility. It comes with work. And then you have to give something up for something else. Like I love that I, I get to be on a TV show. Don't kid me. Don't get me wrong. I love that I'm writing finally new stand-up. It's all good, man. It's all good. I love oh, the yeah. podcast. But it's a lot. And you're juggling a lot. And then when you throw in the little details of life, like, I don't know, like figuring out what the set list is for my special or some or the the cover art, all that stuff. Or people want favors and you want to do them favors, you know, but it's it just literally every minute of your day gets, you know, piled on. Mm-hmm. And then you just want to kind of uh, you want to retreat to your couch, smoke some weed and smoke some weed. And just be a slacker. But I don't like... Oh, dude, I, I've, my, my kid's got that Oculus... Rift. Dude, that the, the virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got... I tried that roller coaster shit. I had to pull it off. I almost threw up. I, I get scared of those things, too. Oh, I, I can't stand virtual mm. reality. I get sick. It looks too real. I mean, it makes you feel like you're going to fall down or you can't walk around. It's, it throws me off. The yeah. torture would be to have me be, you know, sort of on a roller coaster or one of those moving things and just be sick all the time. Mm-hmm. The worst, T H E worst. I want to do um, virtual reality though, where I'm, where like I can physically move around, like I can fight, I can hunt. I want to do stuff like that. Wouldn't you still feel weirded out though? Of like if you're in a room, you would still feel like you're about to fall out of a window. Well, they say it's kids crazy. should only do it a half hour at a time, otherwise they'll get all crazy. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, but they, but the problem is kids get kids like this whole new movement of iPad slash virtual reality. Kids are going to mesh with machines. Yep. So it's, and I'm trying to fight it, but how the hell do I fight like these insane video games, these games that, and, and, and the kids, they, I'm not that entertaining. I can't do what, you know, all these virtual reality technicians can do. <laughs> dinosaurs. I'm not, I'm not as entertaining as fucking dinosaurs coming at you at hundred miles an hour. So that's a problem. I'm going to write about that in my standup. Perfect. How'd you like your show? It was good. I mean, you did. Did you? I'm sure you saw. The, I can't stand anything I do, dude. Really? Yeah. But I thought the show was good. I, I think it's a really good show, and it's it gets better. It gets funnier and it gets better. We had to put in a lot of information. Oh, and well, I don't know if I can even say this, but w- well, one of the songs in the pilot mm-hmm. may or may not have been an R. Kelly song. What? Yeah, they made it. Then and, and and these incredible editors. We're like, let's get this song out of here when all the information <laughs> came out of that, yep. that a-hole. I'm surprised it's taken this long for that guy to come down. Yeah, he's a really, really creepy, weird dude. He is, right? Even since the beginning. We, f- we first heard about he's peeing on like young girls. Well, th- th- I mean, wasn't there a video of him peeing on a yes. 14-year-old? So if that's the case to me, that, like, the fact that that guy 
like somehow I had no a career idea. after that. Forget the Me Too movement. I know it was before that, but like when I heard that, it, it, if that's really what he did, then I write that dude off forever. Yep. I don't know how to. Well, what are you talking about? You what? Like if I if I had my best friend, and I found out he peed on a fourteen year old. I'd be like, I can't be friends with you anymore. I can't. <laughs> how can you? Yeah, weirdo. Well, now there's. It says that there's a criminal investigation. Finally, a probe. Finally, yeah, finally. The, the the weird thing about a lot of this is that the, a lot of the girls are young, from what I understand, yep. and they they get that Stockholm syndrome. Like there's this thing about I'm I'm. The, he probably preys on girls with low self esteem, and then he the, then he they're his captives. And whenever you do that with somebody, they feel like a piece of shit to begin with. So they're not gonna they're not gonna stand up for themselves. Mm-mm. So people like that prey on that shit. They only have people like that can only have relationships. I've known people like this in my life. They can't have, um, they can't have, you know, one like relationships that are on the same level. They always have to be above somebody. Always, it's what drives them. Yeah, they don't. They don't have like sociopaths don't have an ability to empathize or to actually um, have a, a a relationship on equal footing. They only relate to people in terms of power. They have to be in a position of power over you. That's why they say like sociopaths, psychopaths kill animals, torture animals when they're kids because it's their it's their ability to have complete and total dominance and power over the animal and take its life. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you remember him? Um, do you remember that girl Aaliyah? Yeah. Singer. She's beautiful. She was yeah. in that Romeo Must Die movie. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Here he is. Uh oh. Here he is. What? <laughs> what, bro? What is it? Yeah, it's so I know, but th- that was for other people. So come on in, Will. Where you been? Shooting? <laughs> Your eyes are kind of dead this morning. Will? What's going on? <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Oh my God! Can you not bring a an office size cooler jug of water? Get a bigger chair. These chairs constrain my hips. Well, dude, in a way that I'm not comfortable with. I, well, I can't. I can't Ugh. bring in a bigger chair for you just because. Get you're... bigger chairs for both of you. Well, Brendan's a big guy. He's got a big, athletic, high bubble butt. He does. That's how he. That's how he fucking trains. That's how he beat the shit out of people. Yeah, he's got for a, years and years. I got a high athletic bubble butt. Yeah, but it's little and cute. Little cute bubble butt. Brian Callen's ass. That's the butt that fits in a red chair. In a, little a red tiny chair. Man. In a red chair. Hey man, how long's the Don't show you been going? Give him no sass. <laughs> what? How long's the show been going this morning? Um. Well, Today. it's been going on for about five, maybe ten minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, well, Happy New Year, bro. Thanks, Good to buddy. See you. I really, really appreciate it. Good to see you. It. Thanks Thank for you having so me. so much. I'd like to say hello to all your listeners. Of course, uh, yeah. they're, they're, um, they're people that I adore. They're people that I feel close to, and more importantly... They feel close to me, yeah. and that's my responsibility. That's why I showed up today. Okay. When you asked, it has nothing to do with our fucking friendship. Okay, okay. For All years right. and years of that, it's All right. because I respect these people. Yeah, I see. I never know what I'm dealing with with you, because you tend to float from mood to mood, so I, yeah. I don't know what I'm coming... I don't know what... When you come in, I don't know what kind of cloud I'm going to have to deal with. You know what I'm saying, bro? You could bro? call it unpredictable. You could call it exciting, but sure. There's a logic, uh, logic worm swimming around in my brain. Yeah, there's a logic worm swimming and, uh, around in my brain. And you don't know where it's going to stop. Now, now, what's that logic do? You ever just want to kill a bunch of people? Yeah, sometimes I just want to... I just want to slide into the, I just want to go into the forest. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I just want to get, I just want to get people and and I want to put them in cloaks. Oh boy. And I want to, and I want to uh, preach to them and I want to promise them things. So you want to create a Druid society? Yeah. I want to create a Druid society. Do you have a cauldron? Uh, We would have a cauldron. What would be in said cauldron? Uh, Said cauldron, it would be, well, first we'd start with uh, bark. Bark, yeah, of you course, know, bark. we'd take the river water, the water from the creek. Got to be careful with bark, because some bark can be very poisonous, can it? Or hallucinogenic? That's kind of the point. Got it. Got and it. while everybody's drinking from the cauldron, yeah. I'm drinking from the black cistern. Okay. And What's uh, in the black cistern? Uh, clam chowder, usually. Okay. Like I, today. Nothing, I, thought <laughs> maybe, I thought maybe some kind of a 
like bat blood or something like that. Just got a clam. Oh, Jesus. I uh, just got a clam. Is it? I understand you, you usually, uh, you like your clam chowder raw. I do, I do like raw clam. Yeah. Well, I'm part of the raw food movement. No, I know, but I just feel but like you get, get people a, out in the, yeah. in the forest. Yeah. And, uh, and, that's, and we're in nature. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. where and where and that's where we you know they're out there they're 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 in cloaks they're in the forest and these people are literally having gay sex in coffins. Okay, they're swimming in feces. Okay, is is this Alex Jones or is this <laughs> and your friend uh, 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 Joe Rogan? Yeah, who's literally uh, reading the George Soros talking points I, 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 and and he said he'd have me back on the show. I don't need to be on his show. Okay, well and Sundar Pichai. The CEO of Google, yeah, and Google is evil, and you know this because you're part of this exact uh, uh, tra- travesty, is what I would call it, and it's a conspiracy on what of people who come to this planet I'm just using it as a search engine. They're bat people and they're lizards. Bat people and li- and they're not human. Okay, do you have any evidence, scientific evidence for this? Do you have any? Let Let me tell you the scientific evidence that I've found. Of, of bad people, of, 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 of lizard people, of, 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 lizards living among us. And your friend, Joe Rogan. Yeah. Who, and Joe's a brilliant guy. Yeah. Joe's a, Joe knows as much as I do. Amen. And, and he's a well-read guy. Right. And, and he's, and he's talking about DMT and he wants to start a concentration camp. No, I don't know. I don't think that's true. I've known Joe a long time. I don't he, know where Joe you're... Rogan where, uh, lives up in Valencia, where he has a concentration. He doesn't live in Valencia. He has a I... concentration camp. No, I can tell you that he with doesn't... George Soros. That's not true. And, he doesn't even know George. And 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 uh, 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 clam. I got a clam. It's uh, just like the story of the scorpion and the frog. Yeah, I know. The and story the scorpion of... says, "Hey, to the frog." Get me across the water. Yeah. And he gets on the frog and the scorpion stings a frog. Yeah. And the frog, and the frog says, why'd you sting me? And he says, because I'm a scorpion. It's in my nature. You're a, it's in my nature. You're a scorpion. Hey. And, and the, 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 the joke. <laughs> Joe Rogan is a scorpion. All right. Well, and you're scorpion people. Thanks, Alex, for joining us. And that was a quick little blurb by Alex Jones. And uh, you guys had Alex Jones. We on had the him show? on the pod. We have him on very small blurbs, very small yeah, spurts because it gets too much. He heats up. He heats up the room. He literally heats up the room. So in yeah. his veins, he gets these giant veins, and he he's, you know he's younger veins. than me. But bring up Alex Jones for a second because <laughs> I want to. I want to just. I just want to point out that. That kind of uh, aggro energy, how it ages you. Yeah. Uh, Joe, take a Alex look at Jones Alex now. Now, Alex is, is... 27 years old. Yeah, he's roughly... I think he's 43 or something. Now, that's him and... and There's no way he's 43. Yeah, he's young. He's a no. lot younger than me, Bob. I'm no. telling you. That's okay. what's amazing to me. Hi, Chin. How Hi. Are you? Good, how are you? What yeah. is his age? Now, I'm now, right now, let's go ahead and look up Alex Jones' age because he's... And Oops. take a look at him now. He's under some stress because I think he's going to be in some... Wow, look at this. He's, he weeps. Let me see. It says weeps over uh, Syria. Hold on a second. So 44? Oh, my God. He's 44, what? dude. So I am, You're kidding me. I am eight years older than him. I'm eight years older. He's one year older than me. That's right. That, I, I would have ha- I, I thought he was 10 years older. I would, I would have thought he was 55. You sure? Yeah. yeah. 57? And and, that, and, that, and, 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 and and that's the effects of uh, aluminum that is in all of our medications. I don't think and, so, and, Alex. And, 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 and George uh, uh, Sundar Pichai, yeah, you, who's you allowing these it. communists uh, in the chi- China yeah. to censor and yeah. and 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 and, and edit. <laughs> okay, so that was more Alex on on uh, aluminum. Chin, so he really goes crazy. Stop the Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, stop, Sorry. Jim. Just stop. We're just trying Alex. to do the. We have an Alex Jones Sorry. button. Oh, you have like so a Chin, sound. Yeah, and so Chin, soundboard? Chin gets kind of crazy. Oh, we should play with um, the Alex Jones soundboard. That's right. That's yeah. right. Make now, the frogs gay. Ah, uh, shit. Make the frogs take gay. That, take that. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Make the frogs gay. Uh, damn it. It's not working. And they're making the frogs gay. Ah, fuck. Can you, what's How going many on of there? those do you need? You yeah. don't need two different buttons. Well, he likes to he likes to punctuate that after right. we you know. Yeah, but they're all different. Talk. There he is. All, all they are is different versions of making the there frogs is. gay. He's having a tough time right now, Alex. Yeah. He's sweating. This is what a real human looks like. I, I like to eat. I like to have babies. You hear that? I like to fight. 
Yeah. Chin. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Chin, you got to stop trying, with the Alex hey, phone. We're bad. just trying to have a show. Uh, hey, What's new, man? Not much, Debbie. Congratulations I'm, to you. We crushed uh, in the ratings. Did you really? We did. That's great, dude. Uh, kind of cool, right? Yeah, that's Well, you know what's funny? Awesome. It's the first time in my life. Like, yeah. so, so, so I was thinking about this. It, it, I'm 52 in January, January 26th. I'm, I'm 44. Yep. Chin. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's okay. He can't Fuck help. off, dude. I can't help Sorry, it. man, but he come on. He loves to do he it. He loves Alex he Jones. He loves that button. Um, so I'm 52. And for the first time, mm -hmm. I've been doing this business a long time. I started yeah. with Mad TV 24 right. years ago. Right? Uh, that show was on. Yeah. Uh, that show started. 96, sir. 95. 95. I was in the original cast. Yes, you were. So, so. In the in you the replaced, time, or you replaced Chevy Chase actually. I, in the I second probably season. did. I yeah. was fired my second year. I didn't come back for a third season, and thus began a long journey of me with of of having a lot of almosts, as you yeah. know, as an actor. Yeah. And then all you want to do is just get one sitcom where you can pay your bills and not worry, and just maybe buy a house, all that stuff. Yeah. And then at fifty two, I, I I get my spin off. Yeah. After doing my 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 recurring and and. Of course, you know that when you get a spinoff, you just go, that's cool. This is 13 episodes. Thank you so much. And then I'll go on to something else. Sure. You know, because nothing ever works out because right. I'm Brian Callen and it's all good, though. Ask Norman Fell, who took his role of Mr. Roper from Three's Company and went on the Ropers. And he said, I don't want to do the Ropers. Yeah. I want to stay on Three's Company. Yeah. And they replaced him with Don Knotts, that, who played Mr. Furley. And the rest is history. And the Ropers went on to do the Ropers yeah. and it failed. That's right. And... And uh, now if you look up kids, if you look up Mr. Roper, Norman Fell, during the Ropers, he was 44 years old. I didn't know. The that. same age as Alex Jones. I didn't know that. Uh, sorry, you were saying. So you for wanted the first to, time. Right. Uh, we, we, so we do the pilot. Now, again, well, the pilot airs. I am expecting, because of the way my brain works and the way this thing's, I'm expecting probably big fall, probably nothing, probably nice knowing you. It was great. Our ratings are huge that's awesome way bigger than anybody thought so it's a it's a first for me dude that's fucking great you know of course i can't relax into it but it's it's nice no you're not going to enjoy it at all no but it's nice <laughs> but that's fucking awesome yeah. and it's like uh brian uh cranston too you know i mean yeah. he there's norman fell well you keep he's he was great by the way he was fucking great. norman fell was the only one in three's company who would do like a comedic aside he would look right into the camera <laughs> yes and then he would like look at your dick and then into the camera <laughs> and your dick into the camera and he would do this thing um yeah, I mean, there you go. It's, and, that's, and that's a lesson to the kids out there to keep plugging at it because they're trying to bury us. And thank God for President Trump, who's no, going to take on all this I don't media think malfeasance give, and lying CNN. I don't think you can get Trump And Jim Acosta, credit. who's out there at a, a wall saying, well, there seems to be peaceful by the wall. You're standing by a wall. Yeah. Wall. All right. Chin, I'm sorry, Chin. Yeah, he went crazy on the wall thing. So oh, yeah. I yeah. just wanted to play that um, one for you. That's that's <laughs> that's cool. That's amazing. Yeah. That's so awesome. And well, the show got good ratings. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> now I'm waiting for it all to go to come crumbling down when I'm diagnosed <laughs> with a terminal disease. I tend to go. I tend to go. I, I can't enjoy anything. Yeah. I, well, I, I wouldn't you? worry about it too much. Yeah. This chair is way too small. Look <laughs> hey, where I'm I, crossing I like my leg. those suede boots. Hey, thanks a lot. Who makes know? those suede boots? Uh, I don't know. I don't usually notice shoes unless they're Brennan. He wears candy on his feet, <laughs> and, I, and I and I hate the way he dresses. These are Bluntstones. I bought some Bluntstones, but I yeah. didn't know Bluntstone made. Oh, they got suede. all sorts of yeah. They got all sorts of flavor. Um, I was going to say Love you're not going to get you're not going to be stricken with a terminal disease because psoriasis is not terminal. Oh, okay, and, and my psoriasis oh. cleared up. Oh, good. Yeah, hundred percent. Things are coming up roses yeah. for Brian Callen. This guy is fucking winning. 2019. He's fucking winning. That's my dad. Hold on. Let's talk to Big Mike. <laughs> Big Mike, how do? How you do? I want to know how the feedback on the program. Well, our ratings were huge. They crushed. Really? Much bigger than people thought. That's right. So I may just have a job for a while. That's great. Yeah. Um, is it is it normal to have a first to premiere get good ratings? Is there uh, a bump there? It yeah, it depends. It really depends. But, but we retain a hundred percent of our Goldberg's audience. So that was good. You know what I liked about it uh, <laughs> is that you were doing some real acting. It wasn't just old comedy. It was, you know, you reached. Yeah. You reached for the art strings. I've been doing and it for I a like while. That. Yeah, I'm a talented guy. And, no, uh, I know that. Yeah, and I and I and I understand you take some credit 
in mixed company when whenever you're talking about me i i don't know if you usually say he's got my genes well <laughs> i think a, a biologist would have to confirm that right um right so i i don't know i don't say he's got my genes it's it's me, it's not him, uh, nothing like that. Okay. Nothing like that. But you just put that out no, there. No, no. Right. Yeah, no, who's ever, who's ever telling you that? So you feel good about it, huh? I do. I do. That's we'll great. see. Listen, you know, I'm tempered. You've been, you've been in this journey with me. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows what's going to happen, right? By the way, you're on my podcast right now, The Fighter and the Kid. I answered it. I'm with my dear friend, Will Sasso, and I am... Uh, Hi, I'm, Mr. Callen. There he is. There's hey, Will Sasso. how you doing? Uh, good, sir. How my, you doing? My dad doesn't remember you at all. He doesn't give a shit yeah, about you. Fuck you, Brian. Do. We watched. We watched the Pacquiao, uh, uh, the fight. The Pacquiao fight. Pacquiao fight. Not the yeah. Pacquiao. You're embarrassing me in front of all my fans. I love Pacquiao. Don't I put some Pacquiao. Pacquiao. You get some fish tacos. You put some Pacquiao. Well, in. Will, Will, Will is a very funny guy. He's he's used some of my material very well. I remember that. And I tell you. Big Mike Cowan's one of the smartest people I know, and he just proved it. There you go. Well, look, I, I can't steal your thunder, but I'm delighted to hear you guys' huge ratings because your mother, in her usual negative mindset, said, oh, the people are commenting negatively and so forth. No, we but got we got nothing but I, positive I, I comments. Her She's okay. You punched her. <laughs> All right, well, listen, uh, thanks for thanks for explaining that the, the proper pronunciation of Pacquiao's name is Pacquiao. <laughs> No, 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 Pacquiao, he's got a brother, too, you know. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, well, yes, I actually, I did. All right, well, listen, listen, I'm going to let you go back to your thing. Thank you very much. What is my thing, by the way? I thought you'd play, you, you have that $5,000 golf simulation machine in your garage, which wasn't I, set up I, when I was there. I haven't used that. It's set up now, but I haven't used it in a while. I don't want I just skied for the first time today. Good and man. tomorrow I'm going to ski with Melissa, who is sitting here in the, in the room. Yoke cannot because of his knee. Yeah. Um, and I, I think it's something you should keep away in the back of your mind. If you, you know, cross me too many times, you're going to lose some body part. What? Anyway, what? Let's, let's put that aside. Let's Why that would aside. you threaten me like that? That's... No, no, no. I wouldn't threaten you. Wait, I wouldn't. You just said I could lose a body part for Christ's sake. No, no well, I did. Yoke didn't believe me. Anyway, <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't like. I don't like to bring up these realities like my brother's funeral. I don't like to bring that up. I want to, I'm working to put that in the back of my mind. Okay. The occasion I put it in the back of my mind. Are you suggesting uh, you murdered your, this is, this is getting really dark. Okay. Right. Take care, old man. I'm you, glad to hear that. That's what I called to get. Okay. By the way, I did send you an email me. said, how did the uh, show go? You didn't bother to return oh. well, a response I sent, email. But yes, I'm used to that. No, no, no but I, I no, sent it to, I, you, I, I to Mommy. Because I'm looking for any apologies. You no, know? All right. Well, listen, Big mother, Mike. Yeah, the, yeah, the, people, right. the people like hearing from you. So, uh, yeah, so but you, you, you don't have me on your podcast anymore. I, maybe well, I misread that. No, but I, I've I, just I, been. This is the fighter and the kid, and it's it's lowest yeah, common denominator know, stuff. But the other one where you would always say I'm the, the big. Draw. And, oh, that's and, the Brian Callen show, which I'm going to re reboot, yeah, and then I'll have you I on. Never heard from you again. Oh, by the way, are you going to have a little time for my nephew Brendan when he gets out there? Yes, I will. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. Pal. All right. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> well, that's my dad. He threatened me. <clears throat> he just threatened me. Proof positive that the Callen bloodline runs cold. And it's it, these are cold blooded aliens. Wait a minute! And I've seen it. And you, you voted for Hillary. I did vote for Hillary. Voted for Hillary. No, that's and not, she's evil. No, and 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 your friend Joe Rogan. Yeah. Who and I love Joe. Okay. And we go back a long time. That's right. Uh, would not have me back on the show. And and and, and well, you and, were a little and, crazy and, on the show. And 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 and, 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 and okay. And Mike and, Mike Callen, sorry. the same thing. And he wants to be on your program, yeah. and you say you're going to reboot the Brian Cab, the 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 the, 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 the. All right. chin chin. Sorry. Don't play Alex Jones chin. anymore. My bad. Um, Brent, um, what's going on with you, man? Are you working on shows? You're doing Louder Milk. Yeah, Louder Milk. We finished uh, shooting, and it's finished. But airing. you said you have to be on set today. I'm. I'm guessing I'm doing a few little couple episodes here, here and there. Of what? Uh 
the mom CBS? Oh yeah, mom. You playing the mom? No, that's Alice and Janney. That's not funny. That's oh, not that's that pretty, funny. That's pretty good, dude. Uh, it's yeah. Good. So we're doing that. I'm doing that right now. Yeah. And then I'm uh, working with your dear friends, Marshall Cook and Chad Culchin. Love those guys. On uh, on a new thing that uh, a short that well, Marshall and I made a short, and now we're all we're developing it with the company. That's a boom. great short. We're with your boy Pete studio. Fairley was nominated for something. Uh, he won. He won a Golden Globe for Green Book. Wow. He directed that? Yeah, he directed it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, he won a Golden Globe for best uh, I gotta see com- that. in the comedy musical. He's got to no. be one of the nicest people I've ever met. He is the nicest. He's one of the nicest guys in the world. He As a really matter is, of fact, man. you know, I, I first worked with Pete Farrelly on the Three Stooges and, uh, and met him a few years before that, but uh, uh, just the nicest guy. And uh, one of the one of the dudes who was in the Stooges, Chris Diamantopoulos, you know Chris. Yeah. Uh, he emailed myself, Pete and Bobby Farrelly, and Sean Hayes, who played Larry in the movie. Love Sean. And uh, we and and he was telling Pete, he was telling us about this dude he ran into at a hardware store, and he told us his whole story. He's like, "Oh yeah, me and my dad used to watch Stooges, and he loved the new movie, and he he said some complimentary things about the um, the movie being sort of like the old Stooges." And Pete writes back, "Hey, did you get that guy's number? I want to call him." Because his father has passed away. And that's Pete. Like, he's like, did you get that guy's number? Oh, I want to call great him. Dude. He'll just cold call people. Do you know, he? I heard a story about Pete and his brother. And I don't know which one did it. But his father, Pete Fairley's bro- father was a doctor. Doctor, yeah. And so uh, they're sitting down. And uh, they're about to watch the football game on a Sunday morning. And Pete is like, ah, oh, God, man. I had such a night last night. And my ass is killing me. And his father goes, What? And he goes, nah, my ass, my ass is, I don't know. I just, I went crazy last night. And he goes, what do you mean your ass is killing you? He goes, I don't know. My asshole's killing me. I don't know what the hell to do about it. <laughs> and uh, his father, who's a doctor, is like, well, what, 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 your ass and muscles or what? He goes, no, the inside, the ass, my asshole. <laughs> his father goes, God damn it. What, what, well, show me, what the, what, show me your ass. What are you talking about? So Pete, or what his brother, bend over. His father goes, what, what the hell? You know, he's, he's doctor, his father's a doctor. So he's like, you know, you got a his son's. And he looks at, and, and Pete had stuck a condom in his ass. And just, <laughs> That's Pete. Yeah. yeah and I the condom was one. hanging out of his ass. And his father's like, oh, God damn it. God damn it. He's screaming at him like, oh, God. that's not funny. What are you doing? He's like, oh, oh sorry, what? Is there something in there? That's the kind of family he grew up in. Is that yeah. the funniest fucking thing you've ever heard in that's your amazing. life? That's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I have heard that story. Yeah, Pete's, Pete's good for a laugh. Let's put it that way. Yeah, he's good God for a damn laugh. damn it. And, the, you know. and he's, he doesn't really, like, in the same vein that he'll call somebody to talk to them because he's a sweetheart, he'll also just hit you up to fuck with you. And Well, I did a, he, I did a charity. With, You've with, never done a charity. Yeah, I did. No, you did. Yeah, I did. You'd never done a charity. Yeah, I did. And he was in the audience, and I and 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 Larry um, Kramer was there. Uh, what was his name? Larry Kramer. What's what's Larry? <laughs> and Larry Kramer, what's who Larry, runs what's the uh, Seinfeld? Larry. Uh, Larry David. Larry oh, David. God damn it! Fucking. I was Larry, 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 and then so, and so the, the 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 auction. One of the things to auction off was a, a golf lesson, and I was like, you get to play with Larry David and stuff, and. And and it was we were raising money for these sick children that were going to die. It was very very kind of moving actually. And Jennifer Garner was there and everything. And I'm emceeing the whole thing and trying to sell off all this stuff. And Pete Fairley just comes up on stage when nobody was buying shit and just takes the mic and goes, "Hold on, all right, enough of this bullshit. We got to raise money. You got to do it now for these kids. Let's go." Larry David is old. He's not going to be around for long. He's probably going to die in about three years. So somebody better fucking buy up golf with Larry David right now. And that's how that's he started. Amazing. Yeah. He's just an amazing guy. Yeah, he really is. He's all he's all fucking heart. Yep. There they are. That's and after I got picture. off stage, that's everybody was picture. like, when I got off stage, everybody was like, let me, let us be in your movie. No, let, no, no, no. Be in our movie. We love you so let much, Brian. Your you're movie. the, you're what the movie? best. What huh? movie? Hey, what movie? I heard you're, what, what movie are you doing? You doing Man Quest yet? For years, you've been talking about shooting Man Quest. No, I got busy, Will. Yeah, but what about Man Quest? <laughs> I got busy though, you know. So yeah, I but you've chose been not... talking about Man Quest for years. Yeah, I know, man, and I'm still working. You guys on know it. about Man Quest? No, I, I'm working audience? at my own pace about a guy who become goes from boy to man. You know, that's something I'm working on. Boy to man? Yeah, and I don't need you. I I don't need you mocking my process. I'm not mocking your. Fuck, first of all, you don't have a process to mock. Hey, I know. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't have a process to mock. Yeah. You just fucking yeah, I do. do. <laughs> that, that's not how I go through life. The Goldbergs, and then you. Oh, this is you. This is you getting. This is you 
careful. They're, they're like, don't hold be, on. I'm going to tell you. I, don't but be, I'm going to talk about your process. All right. Okay, let me but talk about your process. Be respectful and be honest. I'm always respectful and honest. That's you're like, not. you're someone who's like, but I can feel this like, is what you do. You go like, hey, honestly, let me tell you. So you're going to preface this by saying honestly, which means the rest of what you're saying is bullshit. <laughs> That's you, Brian Callen. Chin. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Here's, here's you. You're doing the Goldbergs. It's going great. And they're like, oh, we're thinking of spinning this character off. And we're thinking about doing Schooled and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. here's how you uh, add to that. Ooh, ooh, and you fall into it. You fucking And that's your entire fucking career. No, it ain't. Ooh, no, it ain't. I wrote, ooh, down all my, I wrote down my dream board, and I, I can show it to you. I bet your dream board is a cork board in your bathroom, and it's got three pictures on it. Yeah. There's a fucking a canoe in a lake. There's a fucking pair of suede shoes, and a little red chair. Okay, why? And that's what you got. Why would all that be on my dream board? Because that's all you got going on up here. I, I got a canoe in a lake. What? Because yeah. I feel like I'm a canoe on a giant lake. No, you're like I want to go out in nature. Want to go in nature, <laughs> and then uh, you want to, and then you want, and then you like so, my so shoes. nature. So nature is one of my goals. Yeah, fucking going out in nature, which is someone you just you're going to be hiking out there. Amongst the, the roots and rocks, and you go, ooh, and fall in the water, and you yeah. wish you had a canoe. You better shut up, or I'm going to fucking punch you in the I'd face. I'd love to see it. <laughs> Don't. Dude, you I'd flinch. I didn't flinch. <laughs> oh. Dude, you flinch. Okay, well, I've Do you got, know what that means? I've got some if PTSD. If I you, I'd flinch. Hey. I mean, oh. With the real one. With Listen, real man, one. don't I do that. I'd flinch with the one, and I'd come in hard with no. the two. Man, you I told like, you not to do that. You don't know that. how to defend yourself. I do know how to defend myself. Uh, uh, dude, dude, you're not defending yourself at all. That's not going to help. Kicking your... Dude, I'm coming. I'm hitting you. I keep hitting you over and over. I'm Amanda Nunez in the bow. Oh, shit, that's not going to... Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. It stinks in here. Jesus Christ, that what actually that? works. Oh, that oh. came out of me? Dude. Oh, man, you scared me. Oh, dude. You scared dude, me. Dude, you just got out of it as a serious coward. Yeah. I you got... You just got out of it as a fart farting coward right now. <laughs> That's not good for my rep. No, it's Why not. Why would you do that? Because I didn't know that you'd be a fart farting coward if I came at you. Yeah, but I want, look at me adjusting in this fucking chair, man. There's Dude, you bigger didn't, chairs over there. You didn't defend yourself at all. <laughs> yeah, well, you I want fetal, people to think you, I'm a big tough guy and you, you f I've exposed me you as a fart. Fetal, you fetaled up and started farting, man. A fetal farting. Keep your eyes open and look at me and counter. Maybe I could do some fight training or something. All right, so let's try it again, but keep your eyes open. No, I'm not going to Not now. Just Please keep, don't do you it You got to fucking Brian, sack let's up. let's just do comedy on sack your podcast. Sack the fuck up. Come I'm on. I'm not going to hit you. Just keep your hands up and keep your eye. You're already fucking I'm not flinching. Man, cowardlessness. When people are cowards, it really my, brings out the mean in me, dude. I got something in my eye. Right, you're a bully. You fucking just. No, don't. You that, keep your eyes open. Keep that, your fucking hands up. No. That. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that's... Did that come out of me? <laughs> Did that come out of me? That's, that's disgusting. Dude, you're a fucking... Oh, it smells like fucking I'm human so... shit out in the oxygen, <laughs> out on the floor. It works. I can't even come out. God. Oh, Dude, you... There's a little fucking you're studio. Like a, you're a fart farting coward. You're a human skunk. <laughs> You're, yeah. Dude, you're a human skunk. I know. I'm a big farting polar bear. That was impressive. <laughs> God damn, it stinks in here. So schooled out did, school did good. Schooled out. Yeah. Oh, I, I have a question. Ready? Oh, uh, yeah. When are you doing stand-up? Oh, okay. <laughs> when are you coming on the road with me to do stand-up? <clears throat> hey, guys, do you want to see Will Sasso come out on the road with me and do stand-up? Because I do. I bet you everybody does. It would be fun. Hit I've never up. done I've Hit never done stand up in a serious way because I'm not a stand up comedian. Well, you are. And we, we've talked not and we've talked about this and the respect I have for the game. And there's people Fuck off with your respect for the game. I, I don't People come up through the trenches. So people like what? people like you in New York. I don't give a shit. People like our good pal Chris D'Elia. You remember uh, over a decade ago, Chris did 500 shows in one year. Yeah. But that's what he likes to do. He'd wake up and let's not paint him as a hero. He woke up in the morning and ate a turkey sandwich. And then he'd do yeah. a show at the comedy store and a show at the Laugh Factory. That's his job. Yeah. And then he'd go and have Chris, a Chris is sleep. amazing at doing nothing. Yeah. He's amazing at doing only one thing. Like he can, he can, he's the most uncomplicated human being in the world. 
there's a beauty in that. Yeah. And uh, coffee, you know, sex, and comedy. Coffee, sex, and comedy. That's what she calls. What's what he should call his next? Uh, yeah, he's special. not interested in anything other than making being a silly goose and yeah. and. That's fine. Talking. There's room for him. There's room Talking. for him in the world. He's not even into food. Yeah, he's, he's into food. He's not really into food. He not anymore it. because he's like working out and he gets crazy about that. But he he's an eat, obsessive he eat, weirdo. He doesn't eat good gourmet food. He eats like shitty, you know, diner food. Yeah, and, he eats turkey burgers. Yeah. He's a turkey burger eating motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guys like that, and I'm talking about people that we know, Bobby Lee, who speaking of having a, um, uh, an, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, an elusive age, Bobby Lee, 63 years old. <laughs> that's a rumor. He's been doing stand up. He's been doing stand up for like 49, 50 years. Now. I, I, I don't and know. yeah. And, okay. uh, these are people, these are good friends of mine who are the funniest people in the world who I respect. Yeah. And they do stand up. Now I, I dabbled in some weird live comedy shit early in my career. Then, you know, then I was on mad TV early in my career. Yep. Uh, I showed up on that. Speaking of an elusive age, I showed up on that show when I was nine years old. No, you were uh, 19. No, you got to be more accurate. No, I, Taron Killam was 19 when no, he did Mad TV. And you I was were 22. 20. You were 22. I was 22 right. years old. So look at that picture of Mike McDonald looking at Bobby Lee. Incredible. That is the funniest fucking thing. Incredible. <laughs> what is that? Incredible. Jesus. So uh, Brian and I were talking about, he, Brian was being very generous. He said, why don't you come out on the road with me? And why don't you open with me? Why don't you try some shit out? Yeah. Now, I was just on one of your cohorts. He's over here, right? Theo Vaughn. <laughs> yep. Where is he, next door? Yeah, but don't don't knock on the... Just keep talking. <laughs> well, he's banging on the fucking shit when he's... I know, but... All right, anyway. Just stick to All right. what so, you're saying, dude. So, the, and he was like, oh, you know, why don't you try, try uh, stand-up, bro? You could be like... You could be out there with a bag of potatoes just being gang gang and... Um, that's that's good, my theo. I'm working really on it. really good theo. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be out there with a bag of potatoes and a... And a can of can of Cool Whip. Yeah, that's good. So, um, that's good. yeah. So, uh, and we we're talking about it, and I thought, because I used to do a character that did stand up. We started it on the ten minute podcast, yep. David Greco. Yep. And then I would go out and do this character, but it was too charactery, yeah. right? Like it's yeah, like, so right, why don't you just do got a voice? As Will Sasso. That's a good idea. Yeah. But what just if do I did this? As Will Sasso. But what if I did this? Yeah. What if I did stand up as Will Sasso? Yeah. But I call myself something else. Great. R awesome. Just come out and do stand-up as Will Sasso being somebody else. And I call it the guy, maybe he's something like Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeff. Okay, great. So Jeff. And then I just look exactly like me. Uh -huh. maybe, maybe I'll just wear some hip glasses. Okay. I used to wear glasses, but now I got la LASIK. Mm -hmm. So you don't wear glasses, but you have, you have imaginary LASIK. Yeah, I'll wear some like fake glasses. Gotcha. Like Randy Jackson would wear on on. Um, okay, so you need what well, you need is to hide behind something initially. American Idol. <laughs> no, not, why don't you well, come out as a in, in a mask? Here's why I don't come out in a mask and do stand up. Yeah, like a Halloween mask. Just come out. Here's why I don't do. Here's why. Here's one of the reasons I don't do stand up. I don't give a fuck to share my opinion uh, with a lot of people, and I feel like stand ups are true stand ups like yourself are born. You have a lot to say. You have a lot of opinions. So do you. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, no. <laughs> no I, I got nothing to say. I, well, I'm, I'm not trying to say I got nothing to say. You're making all these excuses for no, why. No, I'm not making should, excuses. You could, be, you could be one of the great stand-ups right that's now. Ve that's very wrong. Oh, you could. Well, see, pair of, pair of those. Pair of those like. Come uh, out. Come out. Do you, I'll tell you what. Feature for me. Horn rim glasses. In a Brian mask. What? <laughs> Yeah, be what do, well, yeah, why don't I just be uh, you, you're Brian Callen's warm up. I'll be Giganto out, Brian Callen. Yeah, you're Giganto Brian. Yeah. And now Giganto Brian Callen. Yeah, and I come out and, and Brian's like, your your nickname. Yeah, and I'll get a silicon mask made. Yeah. And it'll look like you. Yeah. People get freaked out and I I'll would come pay out, I would pay ten thousand dollars for that. I'll come out in a skin tight cashmere sweater. Uh huh. And and skin tight jeans. I don't work. I don't. I don't do that. I'll dress just like you in a pair of kids' fucking shoes. Don't. What are those Keds? <laughs> no, they're fucking Adidas. A hole. <laughs> All right. We'll say get, that. Yeah. Say that to me. Well, they're cute. What are you? A size five? I'm a ten and so, a half. You son of a bitch. Oh, ten and a half. Mm -hmm. So and then I'll come out there as no, no. no. Well, what I uh, le here. Let's be. Let's be real. Yeah. Let's be real. Yeah. Okay. And I'm. And I here's. Let's be real. I. Well, I'm busy. You're busy. You're busy in Hollywood. 
So it's no excuse. You're out there doing your thing. Yeah. I just feel like if you haven't done stand up. Yeah. If you haven't done stand up. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you run out there and you start doing stand up. Yeah. It's kind of like it's a cheat. I don't Good. like that. I totally disagree. No, because look at like guys like Michael Richards, and then uh, and then he's up on stage saying the N word. Now I'm not saying that's a, yeah, an eventuality. That. Of course, I'm not saying that's an eventuality for someone who hasn't traditionally done stand up. Well, you're a racist son of a bitch, so I wouldn't. There's put it past there's you. a huge probability that I'll be saying the N word. Jesus, at any point when I become even a little flustered. Why would you do that? And that's a risk. Because being up on stage is no joke. No, but I know. And then I'm just that, N-word, that N-word, N-word, N-word. the racist. Yeah, that's, that's fine. that would be terrible. Thing. Yes. And then I'll be gone forever. That's right. Gone forever. Banished that's right. to the forest having uh, homosexual sex in coffins. All right, listen. T- with t- John Kerry. Uh, Jesus, turn that. <laughs> and it's true. I know, but it's so, not true. Chin, Alex. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Stop trying to. He's like hijacking the show. <laughs> I know. So here's my thing. It's like, hey, who's this? Who's primarily an actor. I make shit that goes nowhere and whatever. And then you're up there telling, so oh, hey, anyway, and telling jokes. It's like, stand up is such a specific thing. And like I'm saying, you know what he's doing right now? No, I'm not. He's, he's making whatever. excuses for why he's not going to do stand up. Like, it's, I'm so bored with his long explanation. <laughs> I don't but give you a don't, fuck. Here's the thing I don't want your audience going, because it is boring. It's like, no, oh, no, no. here's you, this you, guy. You just who get up and be funny. I know you know how to do that. I, I would like to here. I'll no, come out yeah, with you. I'll come out with you. We talked about this. Yeah. We talked about this. So I'm not trying to like, yeah. you know, I'm not trying come to get out. on the air and do a bit. I'm not trying to like uh, avoid what you're, you're talking about right now. Yeah. Have a different conversation than what we had before. Right before the new year, Brian was like, why don't you come out, do some stand up with me? I was like, that's very generous for you, Brian. Cause you know, Brian packs the house and I'm a great and, guy and you're good. <sighs> <sighs> oh no. <sighs> so, and that would be fun. I just, I just, I'm a weirdo and I feel like creatively I would like there to be something. Uh, it's not a, it's not a, it's not something to hide behind. It's something to make it interesting for me so that I could be creative. Cause man, I don't I'm want to just... <laughs> Hey, let's go some current events. Yeah, but man. you We're fucking wanted to talk me. about this shit. Give me same some, hey, same give me thing some current happened events. on, man, on Theo's up. show. Same thing happened on Theo's show. He's like, well, what would you do, gang gang? And I was like, I, here's what I would do. And it was like so fucking boring to talk about it. You got to do it. Well, Alex, Just, you can't do stand-up comedy. I want to do stand-up comedy. Well, what would you Your say? Your friend Joe Rogan said that I could come out to his concentration camp. He didn't say in that. In Valencia and do stand-up for all the people out there, and he's harvesting no. their organs. No, he doesn't. And Google is evil. No, that's not true. He and doesn't. they, yep, and Sundar Pichai is, 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 uh. Anyway. Uh, okay, let's go to some current events. All right. This was a crazy, creepy one. I'm sure you guys heard this by, oh, yeah, by this now. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> some random dude. Wow. Yeah, just went up to a house. He and may have licking. obsessive compulsive disorder. So he started licking David a Sedaris doorbell. David used to have to lick all the doorknobs on his way home, if you ever read what? Me Talk Pretty Someday. That's hilarious. Is Did that true? Ever, oh, it's a great book. David Sedaris had, pers- uh, had, he would have to lick all the doorknobs, and his mother's like, you were licking the doorknobs again. And when you're, you have obsessive compulsive disorder, you do these really weird things like count every other square as you're walking home. And when you miss mess up, you have to turn all the way back and start again. They do these crazy things. So this hmm. is, but let's watch this, this one. This one feels more like it's a sexual thing. Yeah, I agree. Right? I don't know that oh, this I'm, is obsessive. It might be a, just a fucking pervert. Oh. Something in his brain. I'll play this little news clip for you so you can see it weird way to ring in the new year a home security system caught on ca- caught a man on camera look at this guy a doorbell in salinas <laughs> police say roberto daniel arroyo <laughs> spent three hours licking and poking around the yard the homeowners they were out of town but their kids were home and they didn't hear anything it was only when the surveillance system notified the family and he's looking directly in the camera outside that they saw the bizarre behavior and they called police Well, that's fucking scary. Royo, who will likely face misdemeanor charges. Look at that. Poor guy. Oh, he's I've a, never he's, really he's, wished yeah. for an electrical short. That is, that is sick. creepy. Yeah, that goes beyond to all what, the way I wonder sick. what his tongue felt like after licking a doorknob. <laughs> and what do the cops say? Sir, you got to bring in because 
You were licking a door. Don't don't lick a doorbell. Well, anymore. they're saying they're going to give him a misdemeanor. Misdemeanor, yeah. Well, what, what? are you going to do? You you lick my door my doorknob my doorbell clean. Yeah, yeah. It is a weird one. Well, you're trespassing. And not really, actually. I don't think you're trespassing when you so so you're not trespassing because when a UPS guy goes up and rings your doorbell, that's not trespassing. That's very good. So, but you, can a UPS guy ring your doorbell for three hours with his time? I don't know <laughs> that he was ringing it. He was just keeping it clean. That's my point. No, <laughs> I don't know that was, he was keeping it clean. He's making it dirty with his filthy mouth. Yeah, and he was also looking into the camera periodically. That is the creepiest shit I've yeah, ever so seen. Creepy. That's super creepy. He um looks. He looks. Whoa! Like, look, he's going in. When you think, oh God. when you think. Think about a guy. Your children are home, by the way. And yeah. when you think about a guy like that, you you just you're happy you have guns and a mean dog. Well, Ring dot com. Ring is this thing where they, you know, it's pretty yeah. uh, widely available, and it's a you know, it's a yep. camera that goes on your thing. And yep. what they should do is uh, put tasers in it in that little. <laughs> I don't know if that would make sense. Or uh, put some of my fart gas in there. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So but a little chamber will open. And... Yeah, yeah. Then he'd be like. <laughs> He's probably a sicko. Or you he would love to. He would love to smell outside. my ass and lick my doorbell. You could have come outside and grabbed him and pushed your butt on. Push if my butt you were on. home with your girl or something, and that guy was doing that, what would you do? I would send the whoever the I would send the girl what? out there. Oh, I forgot you're a fart, <laughs> fart and coward. I forgot about that. I don't want to go out there. Ah, shit. Well, go out there. Yeah. No. Well, I'll open the door a crack and fart. Um, and when expose my, and expose a condom in my ass and then just fart out a condom onto the thing and hope that scares him. Uh, yeah, this is a real problem. And, and, uh, I love where we are in technology. I love two things. I love technology and the yeah. internet. Cause not only is this technology available, it's going to record them yeah. because it, uh, he's going to that- have a tough time getting a job. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cause there's his name right there and we can read it. Yeah. Daniel Arroyo. You're never working again. Uh, yeah. unless there's a. Unless there's a job that you could do uh, 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 licking doorbells. <laughs> now, that's some good stand-up jokes. Now, that's some good. I got some dirty door, door, doorbells. All right. Let's see the next. Uh, that was just awful. All right. This is a, another one about technology, too. So this is in Hong Kong. And in Ikea to Hong Kong, someone was able to hack into their big monitor in the front and show this guy masturbating. And then the they woman knows and put it up on the screen. Yeah, they hacked into it. And the woman tried to instead of unplugging. You know, some people are just full of mischief. <laughs> <laughs> so there's just it's a solo act. Oh just masturbating. <laughs> and then you'll see the worker come out. It's upside right there, down. She gets a towel. A towel. They don't try to unplug it. They no. got a towel. Yeah, put a towel over yeah, it. Yeah, you go ahead and break that screen is what I would do. That's a good idea. But it, it, she's probably panicked. Yeah, that's probably it. She's probably farting. But, you know, I'm turn that screen one. around. <laughs> it's not just yet. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's what good a, shit. And that should happen in Times Square. I can just see that mischievous person just <laughs> <laughs> put some porn. <laughs> oh, man. What other, what other kind of sexually deviant uh, uh, stories of the day do you got? Sexually deviant. Um... <laughs> this is not so much, but all right. I'm sure you guys know about this too. So Kevin Hart, you know the controversy about him hosting the Os- yeah. uh, hosting the Oscars, and then yeah. his- I haven't heard about it. Wasn't <laughs> okay. uh, aware. <laughs> so he went on Ellen recently, and it seemed like he was going to you know be going back on because she was like standing up for him in a in a certain way. But it turns out he's pr- he's not going to do it. He's not going. He's not going to do it. Well, what what is she? It's not like she can just say hey. No, I think she was just trying to convince him. Like she has friends at the Academy. Oh, I see. He's so awesome that that's that's a that is a a loss for the Oscars, not for Kevin Hart. Absolutely, yeah. And well, I mean, it's like, and you know, this is part and parcel to my point. Kevin Hart is a true uh, comedian. Yep. And he's out there saying, if I am fucking around and I make a joke, not only is it something that I'd like you to lean off of and just realize I'm joking around, I say a bunch of shit, but certainly don't go digging up my past from ten years ago. And rather than apologize, I feel like someone in, uh, if this makes sense, regular wings of show business would just say, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah. he has uh, well, you a can't responsibility. Say sorry anymore. I mean, sorry, well, of sorry. course you can. So, so, so sorry doesn't do anything. So you, there's no such thing. You can apologize through, you know, to the moon and back, and you're still a piece of shit, according to uh, yeah, the Twitter sphere. Absolutely. There are just people who don't give a fuck. There are people that are, they, and it's usually those, those a holes on the far fringes. 
and they nothing. Yeah, you can it's do. too it's two the, the to five makers. percent of people yeah, the who are makers. pretending to be offended. But, but the problem is rather that, than allowing human beings to make flawed, mistakes make or mistakes, have their uh, opinions, and as and if learn. we're all supposed to, th- first of all, think and behave the exact same way right. in order for <laughs> us to get along. That's just not uh, necessary. But you didn't notice the way I apologized. Here's the way I would apologize, mm. and I just did. I would go, I'm sorry. That's it. Yeah, I'll just go. It's not bad. I just like scratch my neck and I go, oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Right. And and that's just sort of like you just offer the apology. It's just as sincere yeah. as if I, I'm not saying I'm sorry. And if they don't take it, uh, fine. Well, the, the problem I think is if, that, I was in, I mean, I, 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 if I was in his position, yeah. I would have just said, yeah, I'm still sorry. And see if they took that. <laughs> yeah. But they won't. Because they won't. And then, by the way, when. So he didn't even have to. I'm sorry. I'm cutting you off. Yeah. I'm acting like Brian Cow. Um, yeah. I'm being like, just like. You, when you, okay, okay. yeah, but I know it's your podcast, right. but yeah, but don't. Yeah, okay, but you cut up, you cut off a lot of people. All right, I know. You cut off, and we're you I don't like ask that. people to come out, and then you cut the okay, cut them the fuck off. No, I don't. Need okay, to. but so I'm doing it to you, so I apologize in advance for being like you. Okay, don't so don't, like don't say not, that. Don't don't keep catching okay. it that way. It's gonna okay. make me mad. <clears throat> but the thing about uh, the thing about you know Kevin Hart, yeah. is uh, that he he instead wants to you know stick by his guns again, you know, because he's a. He, he was a comedian. He's doing it under uh, comedic auspices, and he feels like, look, I have to protect the game. I have to protect uh, the right of a, of a comedic artist to, right. to say whatever, and be, albeit it could be wrong. Yeah. It's, it's a decade later, and all I'm saying is say, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, what were you going to say? I'm glad. Okay, well, no, <laughs> what I'm saying is that whenever you have any kind of a movement, whatever it might be, but let, Twitter is its own movement, but... Certainly, like, yeah. you have these far fringes. And let's just take the far left, which I have a problem with. Uh, th- th- it's Anytime you have a group of people saying the same things over and over again, you are not going to have room for nuance, for the human condition, yep. for a mistake, and for correction. You're just going to have what's called ideology, which is you either toe the line word for word or... Or you get disqualified, yeah. destroyed, dis, you know, marginalized and all that. So, you know, the people that are marching for equality or whatever it might be are just as tyrannical a lot of times. How it's, do you mean? It's Well, in, if you don't toe their line, if you have a different tact, if you have more of a nuanced approach, yeah. if you have a different methodology, you're considered the enemy. And so you are then... Uh, marginalized and you are then excluded and publicly shamed and yeah all that. and they don't change anybody's mind you're not changing anybody's mind no. you're not persuading no. the other side over to your side well you're just sanctioning you're just yeah you're sanctioning and, and censoring two things number one this chair is no more comfortable when i recline <laughs> okay here. yep and the other thing i was gonna say yeah. is you're right because it's like what you said about twitter is twitter is unto itself its own sort of um breeding ground for opinion and and uh shitheads yeah and so or angry people it, it, i think for that reason it it it's really nothing to pay all that much attention to because exactly because it's like it's 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 something that just it just exists on twitter but There's corporations no way, listen don't they huh don't corporations listen to this uh, you're absolutely oh, look yeah you're right you're right about they that. listen to the noise yeah makers. i know they do they do but there's no way yet to sort of pull what the general populace are thinking until they put a chip in behind our ear. They don't have a chip and, in Yeah, and your friend Joe Rogan is implanting chips. No, he's not. Yes, he is. And I can tell you he's not. He's harvesting <laughs> organs. He doesn't have and a he's got people organ harvesting. in Valencia, and he's got a bunch of black market doctors harvesting no, he doesn't. organs. They, they, and he's got them doing Falun Gong and Falun Dafa meditation. No, he doesn't. And it's keeping their spirit clear. And then he's harvesting their organs I don't, and selling it to George Soros, who's <laughs> spreading this around. What's he doing with the organs? He's and those are being used for rich oil magnates. Oh, in their eat, cauldrons? Yes, in their cauldrons, and they're eating too much fatty foods and pork, and they're and 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 then they have these health problems, and they're getting a brand new set of kidneys from your friend Joe Rogan, and I love Joe, and he's a great guy. Well, you're and saying he's, he's smarter like, than me, but you're saying he's, he's just like he knows just as much as I do. No, nope. and he's That's implanting chips. So until chin, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, there's only a few minutes left here. Can you? 
So That's until you, you can't just poll the general population. So corporations, you're right, are looking at, oh, here's what's going on on Twitter. It's such bullshit because if you just stop someone on the street and you go, should Kevin Hart host the Oscars? Fucking a certain percentage of them are going to go, who? Because they don't give a fuck. Right. And the show is over. You watch the Golden Globes, then it's over. Yeah. It doesn't matter fucking anyway people win oscars and then they end up doing commercials and shit that's right nothing matters all right let me uh, <laughs> let's get down to the next uh... all right next one this is an amazing rescue by a helicopter oh yeah Right here in the French Alps. Yeah, I've done this. Before. Did you say right <laughs> here in the French Alps? <laughs> right, yeah. right there in the French Alps. Yeah. Sorry, my he's, not, he's not good with geography. <laughs> uh, he's not good with I'm geography bad. at all. Here you go, here you go, look at this. But check this out. Look how close the helicopter gets to the mountain. This risky maneuver. What? Look at that. What? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, those blades are like. I know where those blades are, bro. I don't have to have you tell me. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you anyway. They're very close very to the snow. Very steady hand here. Very steady hand. Dude, how about that? How about getting rescued? How about that shit? Hey, don't climb mountains like that or you die. Look at that shit. Yeah. They just scoop that dude too. up. Really fast. I wonder what happened. Isn't that incredible? And that's a drone because <laughs> Wait, well, Jeff Bezos is going to deliver shooting? all of his Amazon deliverables by drone. And you're a sheeple because you think that there's actually a person. God damn it, Alex, that shut the fuck up. Because you grew up watching Airwolf. Shut up, Alex. <laughs> how, how is how did they get that? Oh, I see. Okay. I think one of the rescue guys was, was shooting it Holy on the other side. Holy shit. On his GoPro. That is badass. I've done a lot of rescuing and I never did anything. You've like that. what? <laughs> yeah. One rescue. Name one rescue you did that we would know about. Don't You're make not anything know up about them. I don't. I don't advertise when I re- when I go behind enemy lines and rescue people. Okay, so why don't you well, tell that's us that's top secret? What shit. did you do? Did you go into the DMC between North and South Korea? And I've been there. You have not I'm been familiar there. with it. Oh, you would get ground up. By, you don't know what I by would sniper do. fire. I'm not coming in a helicopter, do 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 do, all loud and shit. <laughs> you just go in by yourself in huh? slippers. No, I go on horseback, bro. <laughs> horseback. Yeah, or horses are loud. Or sea eagle. Sea eagle? Yeah. You fly on an eagle? Sometimes because they're quiet as fuck. <laughs> so what do you do? Do you have like shoulder harnesses? First that of hook all, up to I a... diet and I get my, my weight way down, way okay. the fuck down. Right. Then I strap myself onto the back of a sea eagle. <laughs> you strap yourself go, to an oh, eagle? Oh, go! Which means yeah, but that's go. making noise. Yeah. Well, oh, you have to command I the say eagle. go, and it just goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like Daenerys <laughs> Stormborn I am on, that. Uh, on uh, Game of Thrones, but I you're am on an that. eagle instead of a dragon. I am that. Well, that's what your next show yep. should be about. And then I administer, I administer medical. You should pitch uh, that for schooled. Yeah. That that, 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 that Coach, Coach Meller. Yeah, Coach flies Miller. a sea eagle <laughs> to work. Like, and, uh, and you should just, and it should just be. You never draw attention to it. Yeah. You just have a scene where like Tim Meadows is showing oh, up oh. in in like his car, yep. and then you show up and an eagle drops you off, a, and then you guys have a conversation in a the cold idea. open on a yeah. fucking sneeze. And you never, <laughs> and you never call attention to it. Yep. I that's like good, that idea. Good Thanks, comedy. buddy. Hey, What's welcome. the next goddamn? The next one is. Uh, this guy, Jeff Bezos. Yep. So he filed for divorce for uh, his wife of 25 years. And I guess he didn't sign a prenup, but it's supposed to be split 50-50. Okay. But it's going to be impossible well, to do that. She was an accountant at uh, Amazon before it was Amazon. Oh. oh, wow. So she'll be the richest woman in yeah. the world. Um, and uh, <laughs> there he is. No he, prenup? He was, he was, it's funny, if you look at him there, and mm-hmm. then if you look at him now, what he's done is he's, hired he's been taking some testosterone hired yeah. a trainer he's got a stylist but oh is that, that an old picture yeah, that was him back in the day go go back to him again mm-hmm. by the way you know look he got he got he's been married a long time he got tired of his girl well, if, got tired if his, of him. and if his wife was uh, initially an accountant at the company yeah under the you know under the the way that the divorce uh and and uh and you know, splitting up the money is is governed currently. She yeah. she deserves all of it because he's a fucking idiot. Here he is. Look at him there. What? Wait, what? Right there. Oh, there he oh, is. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that is that is too awesome. Is he? Did he get a jaw implant? Yeah, he's Jeff Bezos now. He's yeah. now he's like he's got a nice cleft in his chin. Now he's the man. He went from being dorky guy to being the man. He's yeah. got tight shirt on. Was there a picture of him next weights. to the rock chin? Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why they did that. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. 
That is so. By awesome. the way, Vin Diesel is shorter than Jeff Bezos and not nowhere near as tall as the Rock. <laughs> That's hilarious. I hate how they do that in the movies. They make <clears throat> Vin Diesel look as tall as the Rock. Yeah, he's pretty thick though. The I've Rock seen, is six I've foot five. The Rock is six the Rock foot is five. a boy. Guy. Wow. What are you doing? I'll fight you. I love The Rock, and he inspires me to be tough. <laughs> yeah, he's a bitch. Oh, he does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but don't. Do I think. <laughs> Holy fuck, you human skull. Oh. Man, you're a fart farting coward. I'm a fart farting coward. I just caught you with literally 10 unanswered punches behind the ear, and you, you kept me away with that. God, it stinks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. Oh, oh, man. Jesus Christ. Anyway, oh, it smells congrats like a to Mackenzie Bezos. dead possum full of rotten congrats clams. Congrats to Mackenzie Bezos for all, Bezos for all that money. Um, yeah. That's and, when you realize uh, how rich you are. I know who I'm dating you, next. If you lose $137 billion, yeah. you still got $137 billion. Yeah, yeah, who gives a shit? He doesn't care. But that yeah. is a lot of money to give away. Damn. But she'll probably have a foundation. He'll have a foundation. I've heard good yeah, things about him. doing all that stuff. I know somebody that knows him, that, is, that, that has worked with him. You don't know anybody who knows <laughs> yeah, yeah, him. I, I know him. I'm friends with really good friends oh. with him. And he, uh, he's supposed to be a great dude who actually is very, very keen on making the world a better place with all his money that's good that's yeah. really good it's a unlike, lie <laughs> unlike fucking you and all you do is take oxygen up. no i don't yeah you do no i don't take don't do oxygen anything. up you, you shouldn't be here I'm not <laughs> trying to be mean. where just I'm, don't say in america because i'm, I'm no, an american no, no. citizen no, 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 let me be as well clear. as a canadian citizen clear. first of all you're a foreigner but second of all no i'm not what i mean is i can go what shouldn't be on the planet I mean, you should be, but as dust, I can go all dust. the way from the North Pole to down to uh, McAllen, Texas. Dude, you wouldn't survive one. I'd love because I'm you. a citizen of North America, except for Mexico. Not really. What do you mean? You ain't a citizen of mm, citizen. No, mm, I. You're not. Uh, mm, oh. Yeah, I'm an American citizen, nah. and I'm a Canadian citizen. I can't believe you. And American. I go wherever I want. I'm the South Roman polar bear in Mexico eating Manny Pacayo on fish tacos. Manny, we watched the Pacayo fight. That was funny. All right, keep going. All right, this is a little weird. Drake, so this is back in 2010. Uh-oh. He kissed a fan that was 17 years old. Uh-oh. However, but did he know she was 17? Yes. The video. What? How does like, he know? He was like, how old are you? After he was touching her, and then she's like 17. He goes, oh, no, I can't go to jail. And then he kissed her after he did all that stuff. On I'll show forehead? you the actual video. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's not like crazy, but. Well, she looks like a child, so let's not ask her how old she is at all. Let's say thank you for coming to the concert and let her. She's so cute. Pretty long. So he's massaging her here. Why is there a guitar solo playing at a Drake concert? <laughs> so see? Kissing her on the shoulder, neck. All right, R. Kelly. And then right here, listen. Seventeen. He didn't know. He didn't know. No, but afterwards I'll show you. Is she? Is he saying she's developed? She's thick. Why you look like that? Okay, so here we go. This is where it ends. Well, he kissed her on the cheeks. That's fine. Wait. He kissed her on the forehead. No, <laughs> don't do that though. Uh, don't do that. That was fine. That was fine. It was no, all. It was, well, just, it was pecs on the cheek and the no, yeah, no. He was clearly you not don't know that person. Sexual. So his it's history fucking... though. So he's dated girls that were a lot younger than didn't talk about it, and also that girl from Stranger Things. Do you, do you know that controversy? You no. Know. Like their best oh, yeah, friends, yeah, he would call one, and yeah, talk yeah, to her. Yeah, yeah. The girl, the little girl, the, eleven, uh, Billie Jean or whatever, uh, something. <laughs> I forgot something, her name. Something. Yeah, yeah, but uh, B- B- Bobby Brown. Bobby, Bobby, Bo- Millie Bobby, Brown. Millie Bobby Brown. There you go. Millie Bobby Perfect. Brown, Billie Jean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He I talks to her on the phone so, I think and then giving her advice about crazy. 
lover, not, yeah, not lovers, nah, right, so relationships sex, and stuff so like that. We're so sex crazed in this, in this. In this instance, though, they said this is in Denver, Colorado, and I guess the consent age there is 17, 17 yeah. so it's not that controversial. Yeah, because he knew that. So there you go. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. 17. Brian. You know what I mean? No, oh, man. What, what was that? I was yeah, well, uh, here's yeah, what's going to happen. Yeah, 17, I think, in Vegas. It's 17 in, in uh you know, I don't know. But yeah, sure, you don't know. You've uh, got this well scouted. Uh, uh, okay. You've got an app that just, tells you just a fucking tattoo of all the just <laughs> the on my chest and just different numbers: yeah. sixteen, eighteen. Yeah, I think it's much <laughs> much to do about nothing. Here's what here's what we should do from now on: everyone who goes to a Drake concert at least twenty seven years of age. Yeah, I love it. Disturbing video. Disturbing video has surfaced. Shut the fuck you up. You really hate. You really it's dislike. Not, it's not disturbing. It's it's. A, well, it's they, the media. We Here's, live in we live in a world where disturbing. There is some disturbing shit in the world, and people have to deal with some real shit in the world. And this is American bullshit. It's American bullshit. But don't kiss her on the lips. I don't think he did. It looked like he kissed her on the cheeky. He pee-pees. kissed her cheek, cheek, forehead, lips. He I did saw the cheek, cheek the, again. I saw cheek. Again. The father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, she'll be fine. Everybody will be fine. Shut the fuck up, all of you. So that's the conversation Millie Bobby Brown was talking to I a reporter love him, about. She said, adding that he is a great friend and a great role model. It's fine. We just texted each other the other day, and he was like, "I miss you so much," and I was like, "I miss you more." He's great. The fourteen-year-old Brown it's continued. It's fine. Ugh. Again, so what? You're just gonna <laughs> catch this shit. <laughs> I mean, you can't do a thing without people reading into the worst possible conclusion. That's the that's the Twitter sphere. It goes back to what I was saying, and I refuse to be part of it. Fuck off, R. Kelly. Though you do agree with that, I one. think he's a piece of shit. <laughs> and I said, I said R. Kelly was a piece of shit when I found out that he. I couldn't believe that that video. I never saw it. But I couldn't believe that there was a video of him pissing on a fourteen-year-old. Now you do that. He pissed on. He that's pissed. what I. That's what I. What? Look that up. Make yeah. sure I didn't not, know that. Yeah. Make sure that's not. I, I knew he I don't see the urinated video. on women. Yeah. I didn't know they were children. I want to see if that's true. Because when I heard that, I wrote it off. I was just like, you know, see ya. Yeah. Of course. I mean, but but I mean, well, that doesn't look, surprise this, me. He's 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 gross. Yeah, he's and the, when I heard that a long time ago, I I was like, oh, uh, yeah. So when that, when that shit started to break, Dave Chappelle had that. You know, he did sketches about it, and R. Yeah. Kelly pissing on. Well, you watched the video for which he was indicted, and there is a dis- oh. disembodied look in the grape victim. So she starts to call him daddy. He urinates in her mouth, oh, yeah. and instructs her at great length on how to position herself to receive his gift. <laughs> his I mean, gift. Of- uh, so, so she was seventeen. It says uh, at the okay. time. So I guess that's okay. <laughs> yeah, according yeah, yeah. to Brian Callen, <laughs> I, I, no rules. Brian Callen who's out in no for me it goes to Phuket, Thailand, probably with Jeff Bezos and the, Joe the, Rogan. You all believe the girl to be fourteen at the time the tape was recorded. I don't know, so we don't know. But the <coughs> bottom line is this: I, I I don't want you around me. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. I, but the, both the girl and her parents have denied that she, he, she, and Kelly had sex. It sounds like it's a. It's, it sounds like this might be a wishy washy story. There was a video though. I do remember there being a video, and it was disturbing. There's a video of uh, now that we're talking about people pissing on women. <laughs> there is a video of Chuck Berry. You ever seen that video? Oh, no. there was a video though. Yeah. 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 yeah yes. He say he pisses on a girl who's no, sitting he in a bathtub. Farts while she's banging him. What? And he goes a deep sound, some shit like that. I, saw that. <laughs> I thought he pissed. Who on knows a- if it was him? He's got a piece on him though. Whoever that guy was in the video. <laughs> All right, next fucking video. Next, uh, I thought next, it, next, I thought the quote time. the quote that he had was I'd kiss you, baby, but your face is all pissy. Doesn't that ring a bell? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you doing, Brian? Something Brian d- says every other day. Delia goes, I'm working on selling a show for us. Thank me. <laughs> I just got that. All right, this is a weird one. So Beyonce, one of her fans, she tried to buy something. She happens to be blind. She tried to buy one of her hoodies online and wasn't able to. Because I guess it's not equipped. Her website's not equipped to help people that are blind to use a computer. Jesus Christ. So she's suing her for the American with Disabilities Act. I mean, this is so uh, you have to have a website that helps blind people. I don't know how to. I mean, what else are we going to do here? I don't know. I, how 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 inclusive can we all be? I'm sorry. But how is that? How is that? Should I, should I have a Braille website? But I, it's how, how, it's like alt. It, it somehow speaks to you as you're you know as you're navigating it. I don't know how it works exactly. But yeah, that would. But that wouldn't that be an add-on or a widget or something that you have because you can't see, so you would. That makes sense. This is lawyers coming up with great ways to make money. But that has nothing to do with Beyonce. I know, but yeah, I guess some is, websites have not, that capability. This is not we're a blind so, person. We're fucked, man. We're this so is fucked. this is lawyers coming up with ways to make money. We're all going to move out to Valencia. Yeah. 
I mean, this is this is bullshit. This is this plaintiff had a lawyer friend who said, "Let's go make some money." Yeah, yeah. that's the hoodie too. That's what? It's the hoodie she wanted to buy. Holiday Yancey. Pretty cool hoodie. <laughs> it's very green. Yeah. I think there's other colors too. All right. But yeah, there's that. I like that girl's hair. She looks like Bianca Belair on NXT. You watching any NXT wrestling? Uh, no, I I ain't been watching any of that. Oh, why it's not? That beautiful. You girl, like Bian- uh, Bianca Belair? She's a wrestler. Nah, you know Bianca nah, Belair. I ain't. Oh, I did hang out with a wrestler the other day. Who? Uh, a giant black gentleman by the name of uh, <laughs> huge guy. Titus O'Neil? No, keep going. Mark Henry? She's buff. Um, no. Keep going, you fuck. Uh, I don't know. It could be anybody. You might not know him. But What's his better. name? Keep going, brother. Well, why don't you t- tell me his <laughs> name instead of uh, Shad Gaspard? I know Shad Gaspard. He used to be part of Crime Time. Was a, yeah. a cool tag guy. Team. Yeah, we're gonna go out with him soon. Oh, let's all go out. Yeah, he's See? a big man. And we'll tell you about wrestling. We'll talk because I'm sure Shad Gaspard wants to hear about wrestling from a guy who watches. <laughs> I'm gonna wrestling. have him beat you up. Please don't do that. Why not? Please don't do that. Why? You know I'm far to. farting coward now. Yeah, I'm gonna Please have don't him do beat that. you up until you fart everywhere. Fart farting coward? Yeah. Fart fart. Listen, coward. I gotta go I gotta go do I gotta go do my show now. Well, I gotta go do mom. We got a live taping tonight. All right, so we both gotta do some acting. Well, I gotta do I got to do I have to do more acting. How about I, how about we end this with me beating the fucking coward out of you? Please you wanna don't. fade out on this? No, no, no. <laughs> Can you keep your Brian, eyes open? don't Please don't now do listen that. up, guys. Before we go, just know that I'm going to be in Austin at Cap Cities January 31st and the first and second of February. Are you going to do stand up out there? I am. I'd love okay, you. Okay, well, come. you're a, you're a true stand up. I'm San Diego. I'm not a fart the, farting coward. February seventh, eighth, and ninth, and then I'll be at the at the Vogue Theater February 21st. In Vancouver, as you guys know in Vancouver. I'd, I'll be up there you for that. You should come and open for me. I'll come. There. How about I you come? You should come and open for me. Okay, but what that? if I? But what Why if I get scared? Well, that's no, the please, thing. So Brian, don't end don't this. end the show like this. We're going to end this. Vancouver with is my hometown. Keep your eyes open. No, keep no, your hands no, up. No, keep your hands on. I'm just going to fade a little. No, bit. I, uh, 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 hey, uh, yeah. uh, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh God, it's still you fart, fart, you human skunk. This is the fight. The kid. Oh, chairs comfy when you do that. <laughs>